Hi, this is David Lalong. Here's a quick video to show you how to create a Google account so you can set up your Google Plus account. So from any page, go ahead and type in accounts.google.com and then click on sign up. So this process is going to take you through creating a Google account that you'll be able to use with your Google Plus your Google Plus profile. It'll create a Gmail account for you as well, but you don't have to use that for for mail. You can continue using whatever you want. I think your Google Plus messages will go there by default though, but you could set up some type of forwarding. Anyway, click on sign up and fill this form out here. So I'm going to fill it out. David Richards, give myself a username, SP70834. Oops, five, uh, create password, uh, let's do this one, password is going in there, specify birth date, so this can be anything, well, it should be your birth date, but I'm just going to put in anything here. And then you can put this mobile phone number you need to put for recovery for your password and verification. Current email address. This is if um, this is how you can restore access to your account if you happen to lose it. You see, then type in this thing. If you can decipher it, we'll give that a shot. Click on I agree. Um, yeah, you can leave this checked here. Click on next step. Oops, that was wrong. So I'm going to retype this stuff in here. And everything else is all set. <laughs> wrong again. Type that in. This one looks easier. And next step. Okay, all set. So get started. Okay, that's all done there. Now do this. Go to plus.google.com and you'll need to verify your profile. Click on this upgrade, which basically turns this profile into a Google Plus profile. You can find people you know already on Google Plus by importing from Yahoo or Hotmail if you want, or you can just skip that step and just continue anyway. Then you can start following some of these things here. So this is featured, popular, science, nature, connect, I'm just going to follow all these people. Okay, so this is adding them into circles. This is like the networking feature within Google+. So friends, like-minded people, all that stuff, they're good to follow here. I'm going to continue. So here you want to upload an image and, and type in some information, you know, complete this information here so you have a full profile. So let's see if we have an image here. Upload. Here's one. Okay, you can fix that. Set as profile photo. Get that all set. Employer accelerated. CEO, Penn, oops, not Penn State. Put all that stuff in there, and then finish. Then you can do a little feature tour to go through this stuff. Um, 
but mostly what you're going to want to start doing is getting connected with people you know, um, getting connected with, with uh, different groups that are relevant to your business, and then sharing content. So this is similar to similar to Facebook or Twitter. So you can put stuff in there, share it, share it with different people. So in Google Plus, you can categorize people into these friends, family, acquaintances, different types of categories. So I just share that there. But um, the reason why we're setting this up is so we can connect the Google Plus profile with um, with the blog so that any of your blog posts that show up would have your photo by it. So in order for that to really be successful, you need to get connected with with others and have them into your in your circles. So then you'll start seeing those types of those types of um, search results with your with your photo appearing. This is a good, let me show you see if I can get an example. Small business marketing strategy. Yeah, so that's like this one here. So in 914 Google Plus circles, you know, Mike's photo shows up. Laura's photo shows up. John's photo shows up. I don't think it's going to take this many, but probably like 100 or so would be good. Yeah, here's another one. So once that's all set up, then we can get your Google Plus profile connected. And these tend to get more clicks on them just because they have the image next to it. So that's it, creating a Google Plus profile from scratch with a Gmail account. If uh, you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Talk soon. Take care.